Today, JavaScript is used literally everywhere. From websites to web servers to games and even AI uses JavaScript for running their logic. You might know what JavaScript is today, but do you know how it started and how much it has changed since its beginning? Let me take you on a short and sweet tour about JavaScript's evolution. It all began in 1995. The first iteration of JavaScript was actually not called JavaScript at all. This language was created to be a higher level language for designers and non-programmers alike. Then it was shipped with Netscape Navigator 2.0, its production name became LiveScript and then later versions JavaScript. Now you might have heard about ECMAScript and its various versions. What are they? In 1996, to try to standardize JavaScript, Netscape and Sun Microsystems went to ECMA International, that is European Computer Manufacturers Association, to propose JavaScript as the standardized language for the web. In 1997, ECMA released ECMAScript 1.0, which is what is now generally referred to as JavaScript. So for your better understanding, the term JavaScript refers to the language and its implementations. The term ECMAScript refers to the language standard and language versions. So in fact, as such, there is no difference when you say ECMAScript or JavaScript, it is just the same thing. JavaScript is a technical implementation. ECMAScript is just managing the version. The very same thing is JavaScript. Since the ECMAScript has come up with a lot of versions, each new version better than the previous one of course, but we are not talking in detail about all of them. Why? Well, to be honest, from ECMAScript 1 to ECMAScript 5, we saw small updates and addition of minor features. Except ECMAScript 3 and the short form which we use for ECMAScript is ES, so ES3 which was released in 1999 and introduced regular expressions, better string handling, new control statements, try catch exception handling, tighter definition of errors and minor changes in the anticipation of future language growth. So if I talk about ES6 that is from the major change, JavaScript gets a makeover. The official name for ES6 is ES2015 and this is where it becomes more interesting. While JavaScript was still growing, it had lots of problems and oddly functioning syntax. ES6 was the attempt to fix those problems while maintaining backward compatibility. Let's see what are the major developments since then. ES6 was released in 2015 and is the first major upgrade to JavaScript since 1997. It included many new things such as modules, class declarations, lexical block scoping, iterators and generators, promises for asynchronous programming, destructuring patterns and proper tail calls. Well, it took many years for most browsers to support everything and in between transpilers were a great help which is still there to accommodate the latest updates of ES6 inside all the browsers. So eventually everything got sorted out. ES7 was finalized in 2016. It features support for a new exponentiation operator. For example, 2 raised to 3. We use the 2 stars here and the array prototype includes function popularly known as includes. ES8 was released in 2017 with features such as async await constructions which use generators and promises, object values, object entries, methods and one more method that is get own property descriptors for easy manipulation of objects and additional features for shared memory and atomics. ES9 was finalized in 2018 with some pretty cool new features such as support for asynchronous iteration via the async iterator protocol and the async generators, object, rest and spread properties and additions to regular expressions. 
ES10 was published in 2019 and got updates such as built-in functions like array prototype flat and flat map for flattening arrays. In addition, it included a few minor updates to syntax and semantics. ES11 was published last year in 2020 and had few new functions added but the two most loved additions are the big int and the global this object. And this year we saw a newer version ES12 which introduced the replace all method for strings, promise.any, aggregate error, logical assignment operators, weak ref and a lot more. We can say that till this day ES6 is the only major update that has happened. The good thing is that new versions are always completely backward compatible but there may occasionally be minor hardly noticeable cleanups. And the best part, old features aren't removed, instead better versions of them are introduced. The best example for that is declaring variables via let which is an improved version of the var keyword. What is your favorite programming language? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you.